Cousin, aka Dope, and in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my new PC. I'm going to be using it for gaming and streaming, and it is a PC from NZXT BLD. And the reason why I chose this, I was originally going to go to Micro Center and make like them build it, but I went to NZXT because they had most of the parts that I wanted, and on Micro Center, almost all the parts that I wanted were sold out. So I'm going to tell you guys the specs fit, just the main ones. I'll put the rest like on the screen right now. But the main ones are the 2080 Super as the graphics card and then the i9-9900K as the processor, which I'm actually very happy about. I was going to get the Ryzen 7 3700X, but I did a little bit more research and then I got the i9 and I honestly think it was a really good decision. So I'm super pumped to open this, guys. It took about only like four to five days to uh, actually get it to my house, which is really surprising. And for the $100 price for them to actually build it for me, I thought that was better bang for my buck because it probably would have taken me at least a week to build because I've never built my own PC. So, you guys, let's open it. I'm super excited. My first stream is going to be tonight, and then also another big stream with a new PC is going to be tomorrow on Tuesday, or sorry, tomorrow on Monday if you guys want to come stop by. Um, it's twitch.tv slash double btubes. But yeah, let's just open it up, you guys. I've been waiting so long. My old PC, I've had it for five years, you guys. If you guys have been in my streams at all, here's what the PC is, you guys can see. If you guys have been in my streams at all for the past, like, month or so, my PC has been crashing. It's just really slow. And like I said, I've had that for five years, and I honestly really need an upgrade. So I'm super pumped, super excited. And let's just open it, you guys. You guys can tell that I'm excited. So let's just open it, you guys. It has the H510, H510 case. Which the only problem is uh, H510 cases or NZXT cases in general are known to have bad airflow, which hopefully is not too big of a problem. Thank you for watching some more videos about NZXT BLD. They said they've had no problems, like on the videos that I watched. People have had not many problems with the actual PC. Okay, so you come out with this like uh, panel of foam so that it protects it when shipping. Just start over there. And as you guys can see, let me just pull up the camera so, you guys, so I can show you guys. It is the H510. Let me just pull up the camera a little bit. H510, as you guys can see right there, NZXT Compact Mid Tower ATX case right there. So that is the H510. Okay, guys, let's just try and do it in the best way possible to actually get the box out. So let me try and do that real quickly, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I cut most of that out in editing, guys, but that was really tough. To, uh, get out of the box. Okay, so we have the H510, as you guys can see right there, and wow, I got the matte white slash black version. <coughs> so I'm sure you guys have seen this case enough times on the internet. If you guys would like to pause it to uh, look at the features, I will pull it up for you guys. Feel free to pause it to look at the features. Okay. Okay, guys, let's open it. I'm super pumped. Okay, so we have the NZXT build quick start guide. I'm just gonna pause it, I'm just gonna read it real quickly. So hook up your monitors number one, plug in your peripherals, connect your internet, sync up sound, and then power it up. That's pretty much it. Like I said, you guys can pause it if you'd like, feel free to. Pretty simple, just basic PC stuff, and let's go guys. Okay. I'm gonna put it to, I'm gonna put the PC on the ground, or I'm gonna put like the box on the ground so that I can pull it up and show you guys. Okay. So, I know you guys can't see it right now, but I will pull it up and put it on the desk right now, you guys. Okay. Okay. Sorry, guys. It is tempered glass, so I'm like, that shatters and that's gonna be really bad. Okay, both foam covers are off. Now let's stand this bad boy off. Let's actually take off this first. Take off this. Okay, let's go, you guys. Well, this feels nice and it feels cold. PC feels cold. Okay, so we have to take off the tempered glass to take out this packaging. So let me carefully do so. Oh, I did. 
Okay. <laughs> My bad, you guys. That was really that was really like hectic. Okay. So what you guys are gonna want to do is take this screw. Let me zoom in for you guys, just so, just for like a hands on. If you guys didn't know. Okay. So as you guys can see right here, this is where this screw came off. A little screw, and then like a little piece. It's not really focusing, but it was in there. So you take it out, and then you just pull this uh like hatch back, and the tempered glass comes off. Be very careful with this, guys. Tempered glass is like you can shatter it very quickly. So yeah, just be very careful with the tempered glass. Okay, let's take out just the uh, packaging quickly, guys. Okay, there we go, the packaging is out. Then we have a bunch of cables in here, you guys. Um, yeah, I have no idea what you do with any of those, but a bunch of cabling in there. And okay, you guys, as you know, we have the 2080 Super in there. We also have a 250 gigabyte um, SSD and then a two terabyte hard drive to the SSD just to like boot it faster. So, oh my gosh, you guys, right there we have, here, let me just lift it up, being very careful. I'll show you guys. Very careful. Uh, as you guys can see right here, there's the graphics card. There's the liquid cooling. When I turn it on, it will be more vibrant. I didn't really want any LED lights because I felt it just kind of pointless. It didn't really help and it was just extra money. So I, I think the only thing that has RGB such LED lights on it is the RAM, which, I don't know, I just got that. It's 16 gigabytes. Should be good enough. So yeah, you guys, let's plug everything in with all of these cables. Plug everything in with all these cables. And then, um, yeah. Turn it on for you guys. Everything seems to be good on the PC. Let's put the tempered glass back on, being very careful not touching the actual glass. Kind of, but not touching it too much. That is perfect. Okay, guys, let's peel off the uh, tempered glass. You guys. Oh, that sound. And there goes the tempered glass. Okay, guys. Now, look how beautiful this case looks. Oh my gosh, this PC looks so amazing, you guys. Right here. Uh, we have the NZXT. It's like kind of faded. Not really faded, but like, as you guys can see right there, the NZXT logo. Um, let me show you guys. It has the power button on top. Let me just. Move you guys a little bit. Oh my gosh, this PC looks so nice, you guys. Power button. We have a USB, we have a USB Type-C, and then also have an audio jack. So let's plug it in, you guys. Ooh, I kind of scuffed up my desk. I scuffed up my desk pretty well with the case, but that's okay. Okay. Let's uh, plug it in, you guys. I will turn it like this. Just so when I plug it in, you guys can see the amazingness. Okay, that is plugged in, you guys. Now let's power it on. Okay, guys, the moment you've all been waiting for, let's do it. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this thing. Like I said, I didn't really care about RGB in it. And it looks like nice. You have the Gigabyte logo. As you can see, it's changing colors. The NZXT cooler right there. We also have the RAM lighting up, as you guys can see. Whoa, this case looks beautiful, you guys. I'm so excited, you guys. It's making like not, it's like not even, the noise level is non-existent. Wow, you guys. Okay. Let me plug in my monitor. Okay, guys, so I plugged everything in, got everything on my monitor, and that is gonna be the end of the video. As you guys can see, look how amazing this PC looks, you guys. Like, I, I didn't I didn't put any additional RGB, this is just the RGB it came with, as you guys can see. You can actually change the colors and, like, stuff for the uh, liquid cooling, as you guys can see, the NZXT logo. Also, you have the RAM and then the logo for the RTX 2080 Super is changing. And, yeah, that is pretty much going to be it, you guys. I'm planning on doing some FPS tests, like, in certain games, like Fortnite and Warzone. Um, so, maybe look out for those videos. I'm probably going to do one of those. If I don't, I'm sorry. But, yeah, I'm going to run some FPS tests. And I'm super excited to start streaming and gaming on this PC. It looks so amazing and so nice. And, yeah, 
that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Also, thank you so much. If it weren't for you guys, I would not be here today. I wouldn't have this beast of a PC. And honestly, I just can't thank you guys enough. And with that, that being said, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, share with the friends, and that's gonna be it, guys. Don't bow. Peace.